<clears throat> there are only two reasons for failure. Only two, right? Jesus only gave two reasons. Number one, unbelief. Okay? In Matthew 17, verse 19, it says, Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? Talking about casting out the demon out of the boy that the father brought to the disciples. Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, there's his answer. Not because of prayer and fasting. Right? If you look in the original Greek, uh, where it says, uh, This kind doesn't come up but by prayer and fasting, it's not in the original Greek in Matthew 17. Right? And it's only, matter of fact, it is in Mark chapter, what, chapter 9, chapter 6, I think it is. Um, it's in Mark one time. Now, the Bible says in the mouth of two or three witnesses, a thing has to be established. So if there are not two clear-cut scriptures in the Bible about anything, you can't build a doctrine out of it. There are not two scriptures about fasting and prayer in the Bible having to do with power to cast out a devil. So you cannot build a doctrine on casting out devils, uh, or, or I should say uh, through fasting anyway. Now, uh, Jesus, what he actually said was, uh, and what is in the Greek, is that this kind comes out by prayer. Now, the word prayer, and I'm kind of jumping in headlong in this, but the word prayer, uh, see, when we say prayer, we think of usually some kind of uh, formal talking with God. In actuality, the word prayer is used very general throughout the New Testament especially, and even the Old Testament also, but it is used primarily to, uh, to really encompass conversation. So really all he was saying was, listen, you've got to be in communication with God. That's all he's saying. You want to do this? Be in communication with God. That's all he's saying. Now, uh, so the first thing is he said because of your unbelief. Now, the second reason for failure, according to Mark chapter 7, verse 13, 13 Jesus said, making the word of God of none effect through your tradition, which you have delivered, and many such like things do ye. So these are the only two reasons Jesus ever gave for failure. Now, here's another thing. We're going to be going through these things. Uh, we're going to show you the truth. We're going to answer your questions, probably even before. Usually I try to answer them just about the time they come up. And so by the time you have the question, the answer should be forthcoming. Now, if you do have questions, and I know many of you have questions already, we have this over here. I don't know if they told you about it, but there's a table right there with a bunch of cards on it, index cards. You can come up during the breaks, grab a card, write it out, and then you can drop it back off in the little bucket right there by it, and we will try to answer your questions. So feel free to, to uh, ask the questions. Try to keep them focused on the power of God, divine healing, things like that. All right? Let's not get into church structure or you know, where you should place the piano and what color carpet you ought to have, right? Because you probably wouldn't like my answers anyway. So, 